If you are looking for the best solar generators 2024, well, you're in the right place. We've dug deep and conducted extensive research, and now we're breaking down the absolute best solar generators 2024. We're talking about the perfect balance between price and performance, tailored for different scenarios. If you're eager to find out which suits you best, don't go anywhere. Stick around till the end because we got all the links for the best prices in the description below. No specific order, just the top contenders in the game. Ready to dive into the world of best solar generators 2024. Let's get started. Number 5. Jackery Solar Generator 3000 PRO Best Rugged Solar Power Station If you lead a more active lifestyle and are worried that your solar power generator is not going to be able to handle the rugged lifestyle, you're in luck. Jackery makes the 3000 Pro, which is not only lighter but is built to withstand the elements, and Jackery sure wants you to know it, given how many snowy pictures it's in. Marketing aside, the 3024 wood capacity is pretty impressive, especially when you consider the whole thing only weighs 64 pounds or so, and with the handle and rollers, it is easy to move around with you outside. However, it might not survive a wooded jumble as easily with so many tripping hazards. When it comes to wattage output, you'll be happy to note that it can handle up to 3000 watts, which means it can handle a very wide array of things you can power, including things like a fridge, a TV, and even an AC unit. That said, it would be a pretty big waste to do that, given it's really meant for outdoor use with the ability to handle temperatures as low as minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit. Also, since cold temperatures heavily impact battery life, it has a smart system that decreases the amount of power drawn according to battery level to give you as much juice as you can get out of it. As for ports, you've had a ton of them, including two 18W USB-A, two 100W USB-C, four AC ports, a fifth port made for heavy-duty appliances, and a 12 car port. Charging is similarly versatile, and you can charge it fully from a wall outlet in about 2.4 hours, while solar charging, which can go as high as 1,000, 200 watts will do it in about three and a half hours while the button below will send you to just the solar power station there's a great bundle that includes two 200 dub solar panels to help get you going if you don't already have any number four goal zero yeti 1500 x best solar power station with solar panel bundle if the portability of the solar panel plays a large role in your decision making process when it comes to buying something then this Goal Zero Yeti 1500X bundle is the one we would go for because it comes with the Boulder 100 briefcase solar panel. As the name suggests, the Boulder 100 turns into a briefcase, and while it is still a bit large and heavy, coming in at 22 pounds or so, it makes it a much easier thing to carry around, given that it's built around that concept. Also, at 100 watts in ideal conditions, the Boulder 100 should charge the Yeti 1500X in around 18 to 36 hours, so it's a perfect option for camping where you don't plan to be using a ton of electricity constantly. That said, there is also an excellent bundle that includes two Nomad 200 solar panels, which will charge it in around 4 to 8 hours, so it all depends on how much charging you need. As for the Yeti 1500X itself, it has a pretty good capacity at 1516 Wa, so it sits in a solid middle ground when comparing a lot of various solar power generators. In a more practical sense, it really is very well suited for camping or other outdoor activities that might take a day or two since it can power a 35 watt mini fridge for 44 hours or 3 o watt speakers for 50 hours, plus it can do 30 watt recharges of a 50 watt laptop. That's not to say it isn't good for home use as well, especially given that it can run an average 71-watt fridge for 21 hours or a 65-watt CPI machine for 24 hours. It's versatile but probably leaning more towards outdoorsy types of activities. In terms of ports, you get a good number, and it includes a couple of DC ports, a car port, a 60WPD USB-C, an 18WQC USB-C, and two USB-As. It also has two AC outlets that can handle up to 2,000 watts total, or 3,500 watts if you use the surge feature, so it can handle some powerful machines connected to it, which is nice. It also has a really excellent screen that gives you a ton of relevant information, from battery charge to how much output you are using. The only downside is that the whole bundle is quite heavy, with the Boulder 100 being 22 pounds and the Yeti 1500X weighing 46 pounds. That's 68 pounds worth of weight to carry, making this not as portable as we would like. Number 3. Ludi EB3 A Portable Power Station Best Budget Solar Power Station Having a good solar power generator doesn't mean you have to spend an arm and a leg, especially if you don't need something super powerful that can handle a whole house. The Ludi EB3A, as it's so creatively called, is a perfect example of that, being something relatively small and portable that you can get for less than $300 at MSRP. 
at oftentimes less than $200 if you wait for a good deal. Of course, you do give up some capacity in the exchange with it only having 268 wall, although honestly, even that's not too bad since it can charge your average phone 20 times or a laptop 4 times. Where the Bluetooth EB3 really shines though is in the capacity to be charged from solar energy with its internal MPPT controller able to support up to 200 watts of charging. That will bring it up to 80% in about an hour and a half, assuming ideal weather, meaning that you could potentially use this all day long. Of course, if you wanted to use a more traditional wall charger, you could go up to as fast as 430 watt charging, which should fill it up in an hour. Either way, you could charge it to full capacity pretty quickly, and if you are mostly using it for phones, tablets, and laptops, you can very likely use it all day long with solar charging. Speaking of devices, the Bluity EB3A can handle 600 watts of output, which isn't as much as other solar power generators here, but it's good enough for the basics, and since it's made to be portable, that's what it's aimed at. As for ports, you have 9 to work with 2 AC outlets, 2 USB-A, 1 100 watt USB-C, 2 DC 551 ports, and a car port. You'll notice that there's still one missing, and that's because the last and most unique port is the wireless charger, which isn't something you'll find in any other solar power station here and is a neat addition for those who have phones that can do wireless charging. Number 2. EcoFlow DLTA Pro – Best Whole House Solar Power Station Having something small and relatively portable is great if you only need to power a few small things for a couple of hours, but if you have somewhat more heavy-duty needs, like powering a whole house, then the EcoFlow DELT8 Pro is the way to go. It's pretty massive, but that also means that it has a massive capacity of 3,600 wool, which is probably more than the average household would use in a day, but is the perfect option if you get regular electricity cuts and need emergency power for a few days. Even better, you can expand the system by adding more of the Delta Pros with an upper limit of 25,000 was when you combine six of them. Although the actual available capacity is 80% for EcoFlow, so keep that in mind. As for wattage, it's a very respectable 3,600 watts with the ability to go up to 4,500 watts with EcoFlow's X-Boost technology, which is probably more than enough to run several different devices in your home, including potentially ACs or washing machines. We don't really think you're likely to be using a washing machine in an emergency or backup power situation, but it's a nice option to have if you're dealing with a week-long power cut. Also, much like the capacity, you can expand the wattage with additional units up to a maximum of 7,200 watts, so it really is more than enough to power a whole home if you want to go that route. When it comes to charging, you have several options, such as charging through a wall outlet with up to 1,800 watts, which should take about three hours at that capacity. You can, of course, also charge with solar panels with a combined max input of 1600 watts, which will also see it charged in an ideal situation in about three to four hours. The bundle that we're linking with the button below includes the DLTA Pro, as well as one 400 watt solar panel, so it will be slower, but there are a lot of bundled options at EcoFlow, so be sure to check them all out. Number one, Jackrid Explorer 1000 Best Overall Solar Power Station. Jackery makes some of the most well-known and recognizable solar power generators, so it's no surprise that the Jackery Explorer 1000 made the top of our list. It has a lot of things that make it a solidly balanced option for many from the capacity it has to the price tag it comes with. The 1000 watt capacity it can manage is quite a lot, and it can charge most things you can think of except, potentially, something like a microwave or a space heater that can go well over 1000 watts. Even so, it can power a wide range of devices, which is always a good thing. As for capacity, you get 1,002 out of it, although in practical usage, it's only 85% of that capacity, which is pretty standard since most brands cap it at around that amount of capacity, which does help a bit with longevity. Either way, that still gives you around 851 want to play with, which means a 100-watt device can run for eight and a half hours before the Jackery loses charge. Oh, and the best part is that it has passed through charging, so you can absolutely charge the Explorer 1000 while using it, turning it into a UPS of sorts. Speaking of charging, the Explorer 1000 has an absolute ton of ports for you to work with. Three AC outlets, one UVDA, one quick charge USB-AA, two USB-C PDs, and one car outlet. There are also two input slots for charging, one for a typical DC input that you can use with a wall outlet or a car, which should take 8 and 14 hours respectively in a solar panel input. The latter is great if you combine it with two of Jackery's Solar Saga 100, which can do 100 watts of charging each on a clear day, and will recharge the Explorer 1000 in about 6 hours or so, which is excellent.